Hey, what's up everyone? In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a third-person controller into your games. We're going to use a starter assets from the asset store. Then I'm going to show you how to customize it by changing some settings. Also, we're going to change the character. I'm using this one from the website mixable.com. We can run faster. Also, we can jump and so on. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you get notified when I release new video and let's jump right into it. So first of all, we need to create a new project so that we can download the starter assets. Let's open up Unity Hub and let's create a new project under the project section. Let's hit this new button. I'm using Unity 2020.3 LTS version. Then let's give it a name, like third person controller. I'm gonna put it under my desktop. Then make sure to select a 3D template. You could also use the universal render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline. For me, I'm gonna select the universal one, but you could easily change the render pipeline later on. So let's hit create. And once it gets created, we can download the starter assets that we're gonna use. And to do that, let's go to Window, Ask the Store. Then we can simply search for the starter assets. And you will see that we have two versions. This one is the first person character controller. But in this video, we're gonna use the third person character controller. Make sure to click on it. And as you can see, it's free on the Ask the Store. To download this project, we can use Open in Unity. For me, I've already downloaded this pack, that's why we have this import button. But make sure to select Download, then you will have the import button. Make sure that everything is selected, and let's hit Import. And once the import is finished, you will see this small window, and it is asking you to restart the project. And that's because this uh, starter assets is using the new input system. Also, it is using the Cinemachine package. So we need to restart the project and it will install these packages automatically. So just hit yes. Now let's close the package manager window. And you will see that we have this new folder and it's called starter assets. We can open up an example scene which is under the third person controller, then scenes. It is called playground, let's open it up. But you will have this problem of the material, and that's because we are using the universal render pipeline. We need to upgrade the materials of this project. And that's very simple. We can go to edit, render pipeline, then universal render pipeline. We can fix that by selecting upgrade project materials to URP. Then let's hit proceed. And once you do that, you will see that the materials are fixed. Now we can play the game. And there you go, we have a third person controller. We can move around. Also, we have the sprint feature. We can jump and so on. So I'm going to show you how to customize this third person controller and change the character as well. And to do that, Let's go back to the hierarchy and here you will find the main camera, the player follow camera, which has the Cinemachine virtual camera component. So this project is using the Cinemachine package, which basically allows you to control the camera. And if you want to know more about the Cinemachine package, make sure to watch the video. I'm gonna add a link to it under this video description, but you don't need to understand that because it's already set. Then we have the actual player armature. So this is the main character. From the inspector, we have few scripts, like the third person controller. We can change some settings, like the speed. I'm gonna change it to 2.5. Also we have the jump height. Let's increase it a bit. You could change the gravity and so on. Also, we can customize the character model. So we have this boring character. 
we can download our own using the unity asset store or we can use the mixamo website so for today's video i'm going to use the mixamo website which contains some cool characters like this one of course you could select another character under the characters tab we have all of these characters that you could use like this one just click on the character that you want then use this character then to use this model you need to download it so let's hit download make sure that the format is fpx for unity and let's hit download I'm gonna call it Julien then let's put it under my desktop and hit save then we need to import it to our project so let's drag this fbx file I'm gonna put it under the assets and let's check out this character you notice that the material is not applied to the character so to fix that we can select this fbx file then under materials we can extract the textures I'm gonna put them under a new folder like textures then let's select it and it will generate the textures as well as the material of this character and now the problem is fixed also we need to go under rig and change the animation type to humanoid so that we can use the animations of this character and let's hit apply then we can change the object that is under the player armature then geometry so this is actually the mesh of this character we can change it to this one but before that we need to unpack this prefab using right click prefab and unpack completely now we can get rid of this armature mesh and use the new one make sure to put it under geometry and finally we need to select the player armature and change the avatar to our character avatar which is Jolene avatar and that's pretty much it let's play the game again and there you go now we have our own character so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon i appreciate that and i will see you in the next one